Creating, funding, and buying tokens on the Binance Smart Chain can be a little complicated if you're new to crypto, but I'm here to take you through every step of the way when it comes to creating your MetaMask Binance Smart Chain wallet, funding it with BNB, and making your first token purchase on PooCoin, Dex tools, etc. So buckle up and let's go for a ride. So the first thing you need to do when you're making a Binance Smart Chain wallet is to get a wallet like MetaMask, Trust Wallet, etc. I'm gonna be using MetaMask as an example for this. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download the app or the Chrome or Firefox extension for this video. I'm gonna be using everything through my phone. So if you don't have a computer, you can just follow along on your phone. Once you download the MetaMask wallet app, you're gonna either create a wallet or import a seed if you already have a previous wallet that you would like to import to your phone. I am importing a wallet, but if you need to create a wallet, go ahead and do that. Make sure you screenshot or write down every word from that seed and you'll be good to go. The next thing that you're gonna need to do is to add the Binance Smart Chain Network. So by default, all you have is the Ethereum network, but we need the Binance Smart Chain Network on our wallet so that way we can secure BNB coin and then later use that BNB coin to buy other coins through the Binance Smart Chain. When adding the Binance Smart Chain, you're just gonna go to settings, click network, and you're gonna add a network and all the information that you need to type in will be linked down in the description to a Binance article that's been written up for you guys. Once you've successfully added the Binance Smart Chain network to your wallet, now you're gonna need to get some BNB coin. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing using crypto.com, but there's many other ways to go ahead and get BNB coin, but I use crypto.com just because you can buy with your debit card and withdraw in minutes, but there are better exchanges out there where you can pay less fees. Crypto.com is kind of high in fees, but I'm just using it for the video. Once you're logged into the crypto.com app, you're gonna buy BNB coin. I'm buying 0.1 BNB coin and then it'll make you enter in your credit card details, any other 2FA type of things, and from there you should be good to go. And once you've bought your BNB coin, you're gonna click withdraw, and you're gonna need to add your MetaMask wallet. Crypto.com might require a 24 hour hold on your account before you can withdraw after adding a wallet, but in my scenario, I added my wallet much more than 24 hours ago so I'm able to make the withdrawal. Shortly after withdrawing from crypto.com or any other exchange where you have BNB sent to you from, you should see it in your MetaMask wallet and you should be able to go to your browser on MetaMask wallet to link it to any exchange where you may need to use your BNB coin to buy other coins. And in this video, I'm just gonna be going to PooCoin and I'm gonna be buying Grimace Coin. Now I know this was a really quick and brief explanation on how to do everything, but I hope with the screen recordings and the video walkthrough that this has helped you learn everything you need to know when it comes to setting up your Binance Smart Chain wallet, funding your Binance Smart Chain wallet, and buying your first tokens on the Binance Smart Chain. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a comment, leave a like, if you got any questions, throw it down in the comments. I'll be sure to reply to you guys. And if you guys are looking forward to more videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Dollar in a dream, out.